Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you some of the new 3D features that we've added in Star Wars for 24. Improvements have been made to make it easier to draw in 3D space. 3D models can now be posed using bones, and you can also import 3D model inside 2D scenes, and there's a new Toon Shader display mode available for 3D models. Let's look at that. We have this scene here where the character is running through the street and almost gets hit by a car. I need to add some drawings on the sign here, for example, which is in 3D space. And to be able to do that, I need to create a layer that's in front and aligned with that sign. I can use the Create Layer and Surface tool to create a layer at an exact position in 3D space. When I move my mouse around, you can see that the crosshair will show you where the layer will be created. If I click and hold, you'll see the 2D grid appear to show you exactly how the layer will be oriented. If I press the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can orient the layer to the surface or I can orient the layer facing the camera. In this case, I want the layer to be facing the surface, like so. Now I can use my brush tool to draw directly on the sign. And if I look at that in the stage view, you can see that the layer is really right in front of the sign exactly where I wanted it to be created. Now, if you have a moving object, you might want to draw something on the object and you want the drawing to follow that object. That's also possible with the Create Layer and Surface tool. Further along in this scene, we have the car going by and I want to draw a license plate on the car. I'll take my Create Layer and Surface tool. I'll go and I click over the license area. I'll press the Command key, but I'll also hold and press the Alt key, which will allow me to move the layer on the Z depth and then release to create a layer. Now I'll be able to draw the license plate directly here, like so. And now the license plate is following the car because that layer is attached to the car. Sometimes you need to use a 3D model in a 2D scene, but you don't want to convert that scene to a 3D scene. It's now possible to import a 3D model in a 2D scene without converting the scene. In this scene here, I'll be importing a droid. That's a 3D model. When I drop the model in the scene, a little pop-up appears asking me if I want to stay in 2D or upgrade the shot to 3D. I'm going to stay in 2D. Now my 3D model is inside my 2D scene. I can manipulate my model using the 3D space, but the camera will not affect the model. It will be rendered as a flat image. If I take the transform tool, I'm able to position the model where I want him in space. I can even use the top view right here to position my model, rotate him, and I can use the bones inside the model to pose the character the way I wanted him to pose. Now, if I move the camera in the scene, you'll see that the perspective on the robot will not change because the robot has its own camera that's just filming him. Like this. So this makes it a lot easier to use 3D models inside 2D scenes. You can also use the Toon Shader mode to change the way the model is displayed and make it look like more 2D animation. Right click, Edit Effect, Toon Shader. And if I go and edit the Toon Shader settings, you'll see I can change the width of the line that's drawn around each of the objects on the character. That's a bit too thick. I can display it in grayscale if I want him to blend in with the rest of the scene. Or I can even posterize the rendering to give it a more cell shaded look. These are some of the new 3D features in Star Wars Pro 24. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching.